In this morsel, I'm going to look at particle item maps and then show how to use the remap weight operation to make your maps more robust to change. For reasons best known to myself, I'm going to use this grid as a particle source for a replicator. So connect the replicator to the mesh. Now we need some prototype meshes to replicate. And here are some numbers I prepared earlier. Select them all and drag them into the schematic view. Then connect them, being careful to keep them in order. Ordinarily this would not matter so much, but later it will become important. The replicator selects from the prototypes at random. This may be fine for rocks or plants, but I want more control. More control, I say. A solution is at hand in the form of a particle item vertex map. Select the mesh, then navigate to the vertex map tab, and finally create a new map in the particle maps section. Choose particle item map and set the value to zero. Because my first prototype is an empty mesh, we have no visible replicants now. Now we can paint the desired replicants onto the mesh. Navigate to the painting tools and select the weight map tools and then the set value tool. Painting with 25% selects the second prototype, painting with 50% the third prototype, and so on. The weight map values between 0 and 1 have been evenly divided between the prototypes. This works great until we want to add more prototypes. Doing this will add more ranges, so we'll change which prototypes are selected for a particular weight value. If you have spent half a day carefully placing your prototypes, this is not too clever. So let's regroup and start again. Let's see if we can do better by using the remap weight operation. For this, I'm going to need to use two meshes. So I'll quickly rename the mesh to something a tad more sensible. Next, create an ordinary weight map for the mesh. This map will be turned into a particle item map in the second mesh. Speaking of which, now create the new mesh and change its name. The first thing to do is import the base mesh using a merge meshes operation. Open up the merge meshes and its sources section and then Search for your base mesh and add it. We don't want the base mesh attached to the replicator anymore, so disconnect and move it away. Then pull in the merge meshes and the new mesh and connect that to the replicator instead. So far, not very impressive. The final piece of the puzzle is the remap weight operation, which I will add now. We will be taking the weights from the original weight map, well, to be accurate, a copy of the original weight map, and we want to map that to a new particle item map. We will use inputs from the input weight map. My cunning scheme is to map 0% to the first prototype, 1% to the second, and so on. So with the four prototypes I have connected, the maximum value should be 0.03. Remember, we will be painting weights on the original mesh, so select that and make sure the correct vertex map is selected. We should now be able to paint 1s with 1%, 2s with 2%, and so on. I'll put 1, 2, 3 at the front so that we can check that when we add new prototypes, the mapping is still correct. Drum roll, we can now add the rest of the numeric prototypes. Ah, don't panic, it is wrong only because we need to update the remapping 
to reflect the fact that our new maximum is now 7. And we're good to go. Phew, it's back to working. And we can now paint the new values just like the old ones. <laughs>